Hello everybody and welcome, I'm Son of Mogef, we're back in Colony Survival once again. Just uh, perched myself up here for the night to help the guards take out some zombies. Yeah, we there's some stuff we can do this episode. Which is always awesome, having things... Every time, every time I fall down the damn hole. So, what was I saying? Yeah, we've got things to do. In the last episode, we finished some science for the technologist. Boom. Which means we can get a technologist. Let's uh, go ahead and find a space for him, shall we? Let's put them... What have they not got? They've not got honey. Huh. Interesting. I'll sort that out. I think I'm just going to put the technologist over here for now. Just, like, off to one side. So, let's hire somebody to fill there. You notice the happiness in the colony is up to 76, which is fantastical. Let's have a look at that. Now, uh, recruitment cost is half normal. And science speed is normal, essentially. I did adjust these a little bit because I've got a lot of... Tons and tons of cake, but not much in the way of meals. With the happiness as high as it is, I'm kind of tempted just to hire a ton of these guys. I, I could hire another... I could move these to here and hire another two, or I could hire another one and put them there, just so the, the meals get done. Because I think the reason these aren't being made is because there's no honey. Let me have a look. Missing honey. Missing honey. Missing honey. Missing honey. So just having more honey production would do my colony a great service. These guys seem to be busy making candles. I've got it set at 50. How many do I actually have? Uh, honey, honey, do you know what, I should just do this, it says in stockpile zero. Is that not honey, that's olive oil. I've got 42 candles, I mean, they, these two guys are making a lot of candles. I feel like maybe, thing is I do need the beeswax as well. They're making that a lot less. I could get some more beekeepers. Not a lot of space for extra beekeepers, but I feel like it's, it's actually a surprisingly valuable resource. I honestly wasn't expecting it. I could hire two more and just, you know, go gangbusters on it. Let's have a look what science we've got available. Let's sort that out. I could get traders. It's not something I'm horribly interested in right now. I think the basic science bag would be a better. Linen bag, copper tools, bronze plate, and bricks. I'm not going to remember all of that. Linen. Linen bag. Bronze inger. Uh, bronze copper. I've already forgotten. I I've literally already forgotten. What I need for it. Uh, bricks. See, I've got a hundred bricks. And I've got linen bags, copper tools. Linen bag. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not. I could do that really, really quickly, couldn't I? Let's go ahead and do that really, really quickly. Let me check that guy. Just to. Because I don't think he's actually doing anything right now. Yeah. I've hired him and he's got nothing to do. I maybe should have waited. That's not a problem. Not really, anyway. Yeah, see, those guys are still making candles. Hmm. How much beeswax do I actually have? I feel like I'm, I'm just going to get a couple more of these... Uh, 
Wow, look at that. That science went so quickly. It's done already. Ooh. Ooh, he says with great, with great joy in his voice. I just unlocked a whole bunch of stuff. They're olive trees. Do I not have a forester? It's just occurred to me. I've got nobody producing wood. I think. Yes. I, uh... Oh, yeah, they're cabbages. Yeah, they're... That's olives, isn't it? That That's doing, making, producing. Producing would be a good word. Oh, yeah, he's a forester, is he not? Um... Hmm. Yeah, that guy's a forester, so I do have somebody producing wood. Alright, sorry, I went off on a bit of a tangent then. If I build another one of these... I guess, out here... I could just hire a couple more... Beekeepers. Let's, let's find a, a thing to do science on. Diggers, stonemasons... The banner radius would be nice. What I'll do is if I don't do that this episode, I'll do it between episodes. And then I'll, like, dig all this stuff out and extend it off camera. Hmm. Let me get the splitting stump, because that's actually a pretty awesome thing to do. That's going to be done pretty quickly as well. Let's have a look. I've got a lot of dirt. <laughs> a lot of dirt. Then it wouldn't take much to uh, build another one of these. Yeah, I may just go ahead and do that now. What I'll do is uh, cut away while I build it. Why is that guy finished? Huh. Is it because they're out of buckets? There you go, science splitting stump is already done. That's interesting. Anyway, I've got tons of raw fish. Tons and tons of raw fish. Again, I feel like hiring some more of these guys that do the cooking would be beneficial. And then bumping up the amount... Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to stop babbling incoherently. I'll uh, cut away, I'll build another platform, and, yeah, I'll cut back when I'm done. I think that's a good thing to do. Let's go ahead and complete that. Herb farming. I'll get the expansion before I do herb farming. I guess I could do stonemasons, couldn't I? Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, right, I'll see you in a sec. Okay, there we go. Built. Done. Dusted. Sorted. Not a problem. Didn't even take me that long. It's still... Mostly night time? I mean, the moon is still out. It is almost set, but... There we go. Let's... Uh, yeah, I, I, I think I'm going to get at least two more of these. Oh, that's the wrong tool, son of Mogef. Yeah, I think I'm going to get at least two more beekeepers. Let's go ahead and do that. I always forget the size, though. Uh, hmm. That's too large. That's... Damn, I can't remember how big the other ones were. It's just... Because I made them a weird shape to fit in the... Um, to fit fit in the, the the gap let's have a look so really it only needs to be three wide doesn't it right okay let's go back and do that then let's go make that three wide and however long i can make it really let's uh remove that so if i make it three wide how long will it go Yeah, I could fit other things up here. That's awesome. 
four. Yeah. Yeah, I think three is probably optimal. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I don't know. But uh, it's nice to have such a high happiness level. Because I can recruit people, like, as almost as much as I want at this point. And the people that I am recruiting will increase the... Uh, the happiness overall by producing things that I can use to make luxury items. So that's cool. How many? So I've still got zero in the stockpile, which means that the availability for these are low, which puts the amount of potential happiness in my colony down. Let's have a look at the science. Not quite done yet, but like we started that just before everyone went to bed, which wasn't a great time to do it, admittedly. Now, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to move these two guys here and just hire another two to make food. Like this. I'll do... I'll, uh, I'll do... Excuse me, there we go. <laughs> oh, I put that in the wrong place. And then I'm just going to hire two more. Oh. I actually only have one. And I can't make them myself. Oops. That's right. I'll get one from there. Like that. And then... And then... Uh, then who actually makes those then? I, get, I have this problem all the damn time. I'm just going to make sure I've got four of these at all times, I think. Just in case I want to double up at some point. Oh, he's making one already. Oh, well done, that guy. Oh, look, and I've got a spare one already. Yay! Boop. Yeah, see, they've got no honey, but those extra two guys, you know, with the things and the stuff should use up that deficit pretty bloody quickly that science is done boosh we're just storming through this stuff just storming through it yeah i, I feel like i'm just gonna put all this up to a hundred you know apart from this i don't think we need a hundred boiling water I'd rather have them making food. I've got nearly 2,000 olives in storage. Like, what the actual hell, son of Mogaf? <laughs> Let's find some thing to research here. Let's do the iron smelting. I need a basic science bag. That's not a problem. Where did I put our technologist? He's over there. I'm going to put that up to 10. We've got more than enough resources. Oh, I picked up a thing here. What? What? Why? Why did I do that? If I unlock iron smelting, I'm going to have to come down hit Down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a bit weird getting down into the mine, the way I've set all that up. Do I have my lamp on? Oh, I do. Hey, look at that. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to... Yeah, dig this out. That's another thing I'll have to do between episodes. I won't do it now. And hire some people to uh, to mine the iron. And I'll unlock a crossbows and crossbow bolts, presumably. Things are going really, really well. I am super duper happy. It was a bit of a slow start. We're still not stockpiling honey. But it might be that it's getting used as fast as it's being produced. That might be a thing that's happening. Yeah, see, it's... Oh, what did he not have? Yeah, honey... Honey, 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 honey. It's all honey that we're missing. Huh. No water buckets. 
Where's my guys doing water? Let's go check to see what they're... I, I'm lost in my own colony. It's just a big square... Oh, hello! What are you doing here? I missed. I missed from this range. Yeah, you die. You go ahead and die now. Uh, stone science smelting. Yep, yeah, that's awesome. Why are these guys not collecting water? They are collecting water. I guess there is a lot more people using the water now, isn't there? I've got a lot of fish. I could convert one of these fishermen into another... Into, like, a third water gatherer. I don't like this idea of having no... No buckets of water. Let me just have a look to see how these guys are operating. You'd think with three of them, you just fill a bucket of water and stick it into the storage. It wouldn't... Yeah, it's being used immediately. Did you see that? It went up to four and then immediately down to zero. But it might just be they need to catch up. Yeah, it might just be a case of them needing to catch up. I think 307 raw fish is prob... Where are they going? Oh, they're all going to bed. That confused the hell out of me for a second there. Yeah, these... um. Hmm. Ooh, decisions, decisions, decisions and decisions. Yeah, what I'm going to do, I, I'm absolutely going to just convert one of these fishermen. No. Food, water gatherer, uh, like, like that. I, I would rather have an abundance of water than fish. Right, let's do the science. So much science. Ooh, what's this? Wax Unlocks wax tablet, a luxury product. That would be nice. Uh, lanterns would also be nice. Let me do lanterns. I don't think I've uh, mined any of the stuff that I need for lanterns, though. Oh, and I don't... Uh, uh, yeah, look, it says crystal iron. I won't be able to do that because I can't... Although I can make iron rivets, I can't, uh, I haven't mined any or crystals, so that's another thing I'm going to have to do. Recipe unlocks. Jewelry needs gold ingot, silver ingot, and steel parts. Steel parts, smelter. That's another thing I could do then. There's, there's so much going on here. Look at all this I've still got to research. Look, there's tons of stuff. Tons and tons and tons of stuff. Iron sword, which means I would need that, right? This is where you make... Oh, no. Wait. <sighs> Pick something safe. Something safe, son of Mogef. Do the... Okay, I need iron rivets to make those for some reason. There you go. I'll just do the mints and shops then. For now. And what I'll do is, like, as, I, as I mentioned, between episodes, I will dig a mine, uh, hire some miners. My God, it's dark. There we go. Yeah, I'll dig a mine, hire some miners. Just stop. Stop making me miss. Stop making me change what I'm doing. It's confusing to my brain and it uh, it hurts it hurts me. Damn it, I got distracted again, didn't I? What was I saying? Yes, I'll I'll dig a mine, hire some miners, set somebody to uh to to use that stuff, I guess. I will also get the land expansion and, uh, yeah, utilise it. I'll uh, dig out a new loop. I shall fill in all the blanks. Oh my god, did you see that arrow go right in front of my face? 
Yeah, that's going to be a big project, actually, filling in that land expansion. But then what I'll do is I'll, I'll wait until I can do two land expansions before I do the, the, the digging and the building and stuff. So, um, yeah, I'll call that as an episode of Colony Survival once again. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if there's, you know, a thing you want me to try or do or advice on how to do things differently or uh, i'd be interested in hearing that you know how do you guys do things do you do it the way i do it or do you do it a completely different way because uh these colony survival episodes are definitely the most popular on my channel and i, I can't say i blame people not very many people are playing this it doesn't get a lot of love from the YouTubers. I, I did notice that um, Entac, who normally does like cross-out videos, he's been playing this, which is awesome to see. But uh, yeah, like I say, it doesn't get a lot of love, and it's a shame because it's a great game. It's a lot of fun. Gives me a bit of a headache with all the micromanaging, but again, it's kind of part of the fun. So... Um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments section. If you're new, you can subscribe. There's a subscribe button and there's a bell thing next to it and it gives you annoying little BP notifications when I release videos, which is almost every day. Lots of content from yours truly that I hope people like. So, uh, yeah, I'll be back soon. I'll be doing another video hopefully tomorrow and that's when I'll be seeing you. Stay good till then, and uh, unless you're, you know, not good, and then stay naughty until then. You know, with the things and the stuff.